everyone i hope you're well welcome back to my channel or if you're new here my name is seppi and in today's video i am joined by soul i was about to touch up with student eyeliner hey soul hello guys hello seppi soul and i are having a girls day today so we've not had a girls day in a very long time it's yes. so overdue mm -hmm. and sina i've got chewing gum sorry sina's in bodrum so it's just the two of us just, just the, the two. two. <laughs> <laughs> you so, Sol's doing her makeup. I've already done my makeup, guys. I basically flopped really badly. I had a laser hair appointment, and so I went to Superdrug to get razors. And whilst I was there, um, I got a fake tan because I was like, oh, like when you shave, your body is so smooth, you might as well fake tan at the same time. So, I fake tan, and then Sol goes to me this morning, wait, did you fake tan? I was like, yeah. She goes, you can't get laser with fake tan. So, I called up the ladies at my laser place, and they're like, yeah, you can't do laser with fake tan. So, lesson learned, guys, I need to now buy some fake tan eraser. So, overall, I just wasted a lot of time and yeah i think um, everyone's guilty look at this though that. so uh, the fake time i got is the central pay watermelon one i'll show you so this is it yeah this is it the central pay the central pay watermelon um and it smelled incredible but i think you need to apply it the same as you would apply because this is like meant to be a lotion but i think you need to apply it as you would apply like the foamy ones because otherwise it goes on patchy because i thought it's going to be really light like you won't even see it but no it's gone on really patchy on my hand so you need to wear a mitt and treat it like you would treat the foamy ones basically anyway we're going to get dressed and then i'll pick up the camera again so guys i am ready i'm wearing this dress from zara that i showed in my previous vlog um my boots they are new they're from public desire wait let me put it up here so you can see properly in the light they are so cute they're like square toe croc boots and i'm literally obsessed i feel like i'm going to be wearing these all winter because they're like the perfect height and they're like block here i just love them and i've paired it with a black chanel bag and then i've got this coat um in case i get cold and i've just gone with like a half up do wait let me show you the light is better from this side for you guys to see but i basically changed up my makeup a little bit and yeah this is the look i'm going for soul's outfit soul is wearing a man's coat which is from where my dad's cupboard <laughs> <laughs> and then i love this top how nice is it i have to come closer to show you but i hadn't seen this before so when did you get this um a week ago from where Zara. so nice and then she's wearing this reformation skirt and her boots are from River Island, I think. So cute. And bag, Chanel. Yeah, girl. You classic, honey. I like this hair and makeup. Thank you, me. Soul always plays around with her hair, so I bet you so much money it won't look like this at the end of the vlog. It won't. It won't look like this by the time we get into it. Soul's gone to get some snacks from the M&S petrol station for me. I want an iced coffee. Guys, this outfit, like I said, wait, let me turn the music down. Guys, like I said, when I bought this outfit, it is quite hot underneath it, like, because it's, like, lined. I don't know how to explain. So I need to put my window down when I'm driving, but obviously on the motorway, you can't. But it's actually really comfy, and it cinches in your waist really nicely. I think it's a nice fit. I can't remember what size I got, but if you guys want to see so the previous vlog. So Sol and I have come to Vista Village. Hey, Sol. Hey, look, my hair's changed already. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, so we just got here. Not gonna lie, it's very, very busy considering how the rest of London is not busy at all. At all. Like, central London has no one. I'm very shocked to see it's crazy. Yeah, busy, how busy it is here. But Sol is on a mission. She knows what she wants, and no one will stop her. She basically wants some jeans. So, we've come all the way to Oxford for jeans. <laughs> I I'm not going to say I dislike it here, I like it here, but I never ever find anything that I like, but I like how all the shops are laid out, like I wish there was something... It's got an American feel to it, doesn't it? Well, I've never been to America, but if I was like to imagine what America was like, this would be it. So, for those of you who don't know what this is, or you're not from London, this is like an outlet village, designer outlet village, and it's called Bista Village, and it's in Oxford. It's about an hour and 15 minutes from our house, um, but everything's got like digital queues right now, so you need to like sign up to like a queue, and like they'll text you a time when you can come back. So it's quite long, 
Um, so we're just mainly looking at shops that like don't have these digital cues, but most of them that like are nice brands tend to have them. All the ones worth going to yeah. have them, and all the digital the good thing close. is that we're quite early so if we don't find things that we like here we'll just go over to Selfridges and it'll be fine but um, yeah it's always nice to like do something different and come I somewhere feel different. Bad though because I made you drive all the way here. Why would you feel you bad? I like it. No but I like it. I like it here once I'm here but I can just never be bothered to come For the here time. and also I never find anything like I said I never find anything that I like um, but Never say never, things might change, my luck might change. Um, so yeah, by the way, this dress, I know I've been like reviewing this dress this whole, whole haul, but um, it's actually like really quite warm because it's like well lined, whereas like Sol has a whole coat on. <laughs> and um, these boots are still doing it for me, they're super cute. Shall we check Prada out? Yeah, we can check Prada out. So there's a Prada store too. Um, there's a Monono store, there is everything here. Okay, we will catch up once we're inside the store. Look at this guys, I convinced her to open her hair. <laughs> so this is hairstyle number three of the vlog so far. And I think we're like five minutes in. But I like her hair like this, like curly. You just have to swap it in escudge. Escudge is like, wait. Hold on. You know the green thing you wash your coat. But look, how pretty is that? Because her hair is like the nicest ombre. So, love this. Do you want to go to Saint Laurent? So we're looking at men's shirts for my dad. And I just saw this one. And I'm like, how cute is this? I don't know, cop or drop guys. Yeah, by the time you've replied to this, it's way too late, but super cute. It's like purple, purple check. Good morning. Um, I actually can't remember where I'm picking up the vlog from, but I have made myself a coffee. It's technically not morning anymore. It is 12. Brunch. 12.20, mom says it's brunch time. Um, but I am breaking my intermittent fast. I have not been taking it as seriously as I want to take it. So um, for those of you who don't know what intermittent fasting is, I do have loads of videos about it on my YouTube, so make sure you check it out if you're interested to know more. But I'm basically going to make myself breakfast now. I'm probably gonna have eggs. Are you gonna say hi? He's just walking Hello. slowly. <laughs> Dad, you haven't been in my vlog in ages. How are you? Thank you very much. I, because you've been busy and I was in Iran as well. How have you been? Did you miss me? A lot. I'm fine, thank you. <laughs> no one thought, I really hope you guys saw her hand. She tried to climb over us. Um, yeah, she was, uh, my mum's just went this morning and got some fresh bread because basically the area that we live in in London, I know so many of you guys don't watch my vlogs from London from what I see on the statistics. So the area that we live in in London has a lot of Ir Iranian bakeries and stuff. And so my parents can get fresh bread every single morning. Isn't that mad? So they literally buy this much bread and no, but they actually go through it in like two days and I just don't think it's normal. Like, Doruzina Tamisha. Doruzam Kamtar. Wagan Kamtar. Like, they honestly eat bread so much. And for those of you guys. <laughs> and this is what type of bread is this, mom? It's barbari. So, this is a Persian barbari bread. There's Iranians have two special breads it's barbari and sangak. And then the other ones that we have are kind of a copy of like other countries like lavash bread. And we have like. I don't think we have pizza bread in Iran. Do we have pizza bread in Iran? Yes. No, no, no. And this is Sangak. Yeah, this is Sangak. Fresh is, and nice. This is the other Iranian bread yes. that is like special But to exactly the same Iranians. shop. Yeah, so she bought both of them from the same shop. But those of you guys who don't know, bread is actually really high in salt. So if you have any sort of like high blood pressure and stuff, and you don't know where all your salt and tickets coming from, and you eat a lot of bread, bear in mind that might be where it's coming from. So I just thought I'd put it out there for you guys to know. But I'm gonna make some eggs now. Look at this gloomy London weather. Like it's honestly not cute at all. Um, so. Oh, it's 
seven, eight days, every single day. It's yeah, raining. it's raining. It's been raining non-stop for like eight days, so we're actually sick of it by now. Uh, we just want the weather to change. And um, today's a fun day. I have a lot of admin stuff to do, but I've got, the reason why I'm so excited is because I basically bought a lot of gym gear from um, Bowen T, which if you guys don't know is the sister brand of Opoly and it's arriving today according to a text I got so hopefully that'll come through and then I can show you guys and try it on as well uh, which I'm excited about and that's really it let me make breakfast now so for my followers who are Iranian this breakfast is actually called Khagina and it's basically like when you stir the eggs like before you fry it mommy Khagina how many can mix me koni yeah, weirdly, my parents always have breakfast at the same time as me, even though they don't intermittent fast. Um, it's just, I don't know if it's an Iranian thing, but they always eat so late. Even like lunch is delayed, dinner is delayed. That's why you'll never catch an Iranian like at a restaurant reservation at 7 p.m. ever, you know, unless with the new curfews. Last week, I'm do you want me to eat? Why do you want me to eat? I don't know what you're doing. 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 I'm happy. No, but what are you doing? I don't know what you're doing. I don't know what you're doing. نه هیچ وقت نه شما ساعت چند شب میخوری ده شب نه بابا من که ساعت امکان نداره نه هشت شب خدا شیشونی می خدا شیشونی می نه 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 آها در واقع راست میگه اون ناهاره ولی من دیگه شام نمیخواد آها پس دیشب خالم داشت ترایفل میخورد توی کدوم شهر ترایفل رو میگن که شام پرا هیچی دیگه نخور بعد از ناهارش دیروز کتلت نمون بابا من کتلت خورد بستنی مگنه خورد ترایفل خورد یعنی شام روزایی که شام به درست حسایی نمی کنه شام نمی خورم دیگه روزایی که کتلت روزایی که وقتی کتلت درست می کنم خب اون کتلت رو درست کرده بودم گوش را افتاده یه دونه گذاشتم در نمه یه بخواهده اوکی So I'm going to translate that briefly for those of you guys who didn't understand. Apparently my mum <laughs> uh, Apparently my mum doesn't eat dinner, but obviously none of us believe that. I will show you guys why I have to that she eats dinner. Um Actually, you should do that for your recipe is Zerish Polo on Mor on Mise Yes, okay. So good. Guys, who knew PMC was still a channel? Perad! Perachsimara? So I know this looks really unappetizing, but here's my breakfast. It is toast with Philadelphia cream cheese, cherry tomatoes, and eggs. Guys, look at the size of this box that has come uh, for me of the gym clothes that I told you guys about. Unfortunately, unfortunately they didn't arrive in time for me. So like today's gym session, so I wore like just this pretty little thin crop hoodie and this black sports bra and these Nike shorts. But I will show you guys what's in the delivery box now. So we have one box of stuff, two boxes of stuff. Here's hoping that they fit me. I got the same size of clothes that I got last time. I think I literally got like so many items. So first up, I got this cute cap. It's like a bucket hat. 
Let me show you. How cute. It's like this blue bucket hat. I don't know if bucket hats suit me, but we will see. So that's the first item. Next up is the set in coral. So it is coral gym leggings. Oh, I got the petite version, but that looks super short. I don't know if it's going to come up cropped. I don't want cropped leggings. Okay, we'll see. I'll try it on and let you know. I got them an extra small. And then this is the top that I got to go with it. It comes with padding in it. The other Bowen tee tops that I've got don't have padding on it in it. And actually, it's like quite nippy that you can see um your boobs through them so i think this is better that it's got padding but i love the material of this uh the other sets that i have with this material as well it's like this thick stretchy lycra kind of material it's really really good really durable in the gym and like when you squat it's squat proof so that's amazing um then i got this blue set it seems like i've got it in three why do i have so many of the same thing did i accidentally buy two of the same Oh, okay, so apparently I got cycling shorts and leggings. So here is the cycling shorts um, in blue with this Bowen T writing on the side. So cute. And then the top for it is even more adorable. Hold on, I'll show you. Well, I'm going to keep saying hold on, I'll show you. Like, you know I'm going to show you, duh. That is the whole point of this. Um, okay, look at the top, guys. How adorable is that? So it's like different strap top and like the way that they wore it on the model was like this so it goes over your shoulder like that but I guess you could wear it like that as well but I think it's cuter like that oh sorry there was something on it wasn't there um this again has padding in it it seems like probably from the first drop till now they've added padding to all of their stuff but I thought that was so cute and then these are the full length leggings for it um here we go so these full leg leggings, so because this top is plain, I could wear those shorts with these as well. But um, these are the full leg leggings and these are not in the petite, I believe. Yeah, this is regular, not petite style. So how cute are they? I absolutely love the colour and I just love the fit of these. Second box, seems to be the fuller one. Oh, okay. So I love the colours in this box. This colour is like a bright box of stuff. So the first set we have is this tie-dye set so it's this tie-dye set and it says bowen tea here down the side it is beautiful i feel like the camera doesn't do justice of the color but it's so so pretty guys it's stunning the reason why i get extra small by the way is first of all they're really stretched and second of all the waistband is loose when i got the shorts on uh in a size small the waistband was too loose after like 10 minutes so but the extra small one when i had gym leggings in that size fit me so much better so that's why i just put everything in an extra small but i have to see with the shorts because i don't want this part of it to be too tight like these ones um but we'll see so this is the top to go with it um again this has padding inside it and it's just um a plain crop top with adjustable straps on the back and it is not plain obviously it's tighter but it's so stunning i'm obsessed I literally feel like why I love Bowen T is because it looks so hot to wear in the gym and it looks so hot to wear out. Like, I'm going out later, I'm probably going to wear one of these. Um, okay, this one was probably my favourite out of everything I've ordered. It is this blue, green, and this, this is like limey green, I don't know, light green um, top, um, gym top. It is so adorable. Um, I think that I, I need some that are a bit long sleeve um, for days where I see me like shave my underarms. Oh, okay. So, this makes sense now. The shorts, these shorts go with this. So, these are the matching shorts. So, it's like a set like that. Um, but as you can see, it also goes with the other blue top. So, these colours are like really perfect mix and match, which I love. Then, next up, oh, this colour is such a dream. Dream. Look at this. It's like neon green with pink. Oh, my God, you guys. This is stunning. I feel like I don't even know which one's my favourite, but I'm so excited. I don't think the last, I can't remember the last time I was this excited over a delivery. And then it comes with this top. So the top is the same colour scheme. And I love 
uh, gym tops like this that are basically like bralettes because they're the ones I wear most. I'm basically wearing one now underneath as well. And it's because I get really, really hot in the gym. Like I don't really care if like I'm half naked in the gym because I get really hot. I'd rather wear more open sportswear like shorts and crop tops and stuff because I get too hot. So this is perfect for me. And with these leggings, how cute. Oh my God, I'm so obsessed. And then the last set is, I really hope this will fit you guys by the way, is orange. So the last set is orange. This is the top for it. I tried not to get all of the tops the same style. This is the only top that I got in two colors because it's basically just the standard sports bra style so you can't really go wrong with it with padding inside but the padding is removable so it's got this side bit that you can remove and then the straps are adjustable and I feel like this color is so beautiful especially in summer if you're tanned or even like winter holidays tanned or just fake tanned it's stunning and then I got it with the matching leggings and I feel like these colors are so mix and match like I could wear this with this and it would look cute maybe not but like I said I just feel like there's other ones like I could wear like the blue and then the orange you see what I mean like it just goes really well so I'm so happy with all of these oh my god that's stunning let me show you the last leggings before I go and take a shower so these are the last pair of leggings they are these orange style leggings and they are so stunning so I absolutely love this so that is my bow and tee haul. I didn't try it on, but you can follow me on Instagram to see me wearing it because I basically always show my gym outfits every day on my Insta story. Now for those of you who don't know, my Instagram is Persian Bunny. Guys, I just got back from a night out and I thought I'd show you because I wore the bow and tee top that I just showed you in the previous clip. So I thought I'd show you. It's really nice, but unfortunately... A lot of the stuff that um, I got, were, which were bright colours, were see-through. So I think I'm going to have to send them back. But the thicker ones, the thicker fabric, the older collection stuff, is not see-through. So that's really annoying about the thinner fabric ones. Maybe I just got it too small and if I got it one size bigger, it would be like less see-through. But I love this with the matching leggings as well. But I'm going to show you in the other mirror how I wore it. Um, so I've basically worn it as a crop top with these Zara jeans and these pink Public Desire heels. How cute are they? I got a red pedicure and I just feel like it looks really cute with the pedicure and just overall as like an outfit. I think it looks so pretty <laughs> um, to have like the matching top and um, shoes. And I just wore my furry jacket on top. I'm gonna end the vlog here. I hope that you guys have enjoyed this video. If you have, then please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to me down below for more vlogs, more videos. Let me know in the comments what it is you guys want to see and I'll be happy to film it for you. Don't forget to check out my socials. They're always linked down below. My Instagram is Persian Bunny and my snap is Steffi Samai. I'll see you next time. Bye!